Imagine a world where the smallest amount of credit could change your life. Does such a world exist? Yes, it does. Welcome to the world of microcredit. This financial innovation isn't just a theory, it's a reality that's transformed the lives of millions globally. It's a world where tiny loans empower individuals, sparking entrepreneurship and economic growth. It's a world where small amounts of money make big impacts. Intrigued? Let's delve deeper into this fascinating world. Microcredit is not just a buzzword. It's a powerful tool that has transformed the lives of many. But what exactly is it? At its core, microcredit is a financial innovation that extends small loans, often without collateral, to individuals who traditionally lack access to banking services. It's a lifeline for those at the bottom of the economic pyramid, providing them with the means to start or expand small-scale businesses. The concept of microcredit finds its roots in the mid-20th century, but it was Professor Muhammad Yunus of Bangladesh who brought it into the mainstream in the late 70s. He founded the Grameen Bank with a novel idea to trust the poor to repay their loans. He believed that credit is a fundamental human right and that even the impoverished, when given a chance, can work their way towards economic self-sufficiency. Here's how it works. Microcredit institutions, or MCIs, provide small loans, often in the range of 50 to a few hundred dollars, to individuals or groups. These loans are primarily used to fund income-generating activities like buying a sewing machine for a tailor or seeds for a farmer. The borrowers then repay the loans, usually with interest, over a set period. The purpose of microcredit is twofold. First, it provides financial services to those who are overlooked by traditional banks due to their low income or lack of collateral. Second, it empowers these individuals, particularly women, by giving them the means to control their economic destiny. Unlike traditional banks that require collateral and a good credit history, microcredit relies on trust and community pressure. Borrowers often form groups and if one member fails to repay, the entire group can be denied future loans. This communal responsibility ensures high repayment rates and keeps the system sustainable. Microcredit has its critics, but there's no denying its transformative power. It has given millions the chance to break the cycle of poverty and has encouraged entrepreneurial spirit in some of the world's most disadvantaged communities. Now that we've understood what microcredit is, let's examine its impact through a real-life case study. The story of microcredit cannot be told without mentioning Bangladesh, a country that has become a beacon of hope in the world of microfinance. In the heart of Bangladesh, an extraordinary tale unfolds. A tale about the power of microcredit and a bank that dared to do things differently. This is the story of the Grameen Bank, a groundbreaking institution that has changed the lives of millions. The Grameen Bank was founded in the late 20th century by Muhammad Yunus, a man with a vision. He saw the potential in the poor, the underprivileged, the overlooked. He believed that with the right support, they too could become entrepreneurs, business owners, drivers of their own destiny. And so, he set out to provide that support in the form of microcredit. Microcredit, as provided by Grameen Bank, is not just about lending small amounts of money, it's about belief, trust, and empowerment. The bank lends to the poor without requiring any collateral, a radical departure from the norm. This is a leap of faith, a belief in the potential of the borrowers, and it's this belief that has been the driving force behind the success of the Grameen Bank. Over the years, the Grameen Bank has empowered countless individuals, particularly women. In a country where women often face barriers to economic participation, microcredit has been a game changer. It has given them the means to start their own businesses, to generate income, to provide for their families. It has given them independence, confidence, and the ability to shape their own futures. But the impact of the Grameen Bank goes beyond individual empowerment. It has also contributed to poverty alleviation on a significant scale. By providing microcredit, the bank has enabled the poor to create their own sources of income. This has not only improved their living conditions, but has also stimulated economic growth at the grassroots level. In turn, this has had a ripple effect, benefiting the broader economy of Bangladesh. Of course, the journey has not been without challenges. There have been setbacks and obstacles along the way, but the Grameen Bank has persevered, driven by its mission to alleviate poverty and empower the poor. As we look at the Bangladesh experience, we see the transformative power of microcredit. We see how a simple concept, backed by belief and commitment, can bring about profound change. We see how a small bank in Bangladesh 
has touched the lives of millions, and in doing so, has become a beacon of hope in the world of microfinance. The Bangladesh experience is a testament to the power of microcredit, but it's not just Bangladesh. Microcredit has had a global impact. From Asia to Africa, from Europe to the Americas, the microcredit revolution is sweeping across the globe. So, what's the global impact of this financial phenomenon? Well, it's multifaceted, and it's making a world of difference. Let's start by looking at poverty alleviation. In regions where traditional banking services are scarce or non-existent, microcredit has emerged as a beacon of hope. By providing small loans to individuals who would typically be considered unbankable, it's giving people the means to escape the poverty trap. They're using these loans to start businesses, create jobs, and inject life into their local economies. Just imagine, a simple loan of a few hundred dollars can mean the difference between a life of poverty and a life of prosperity. But it's not just about poverty alleviation. Microcredit is also empowering women across the globe. In many cultures, women have been historically denied access to financial services. But microcredit is changing that. It's giving them the opportunity to become financially independent, to make their own decisions, and to contribute to their families and communities in meaningful ways. They're not just borrowers, they're business owners, entrepreneurs, and leaders. And then there's entrepreneurship. Microcredit is fueling the entrepreneurial spirit worldwide. It's giving people the chance to turn their ideas into reality, to create and innovate. From small-scale farmers in Africa using loans to invest in better farming equipment, to artisans in Asia expanding their craft businesses, microcredit is promoting entrepreneurship in all its forms. But let's not forget, microcredit is not a silver bullet. It has its limitations and challenges. Responsible lending practices, financial literacy, and borrower protection are all critical issues that need to be addressed. But the potential of microcredit to transform lives and communities is immense. The impact of microcredit is undeniable. But like all financial tools, it comes with its own set of challenges. Regardless, the microcredit revolution is here to stay, and it's making waves in every corner of the world. Microcredit, like all good things, comes with its own set of challenges, but these challenges are not insurmountable. Let's start with high interest rates. You see, microcredit institutions often charge higher rates compared to traditional banks. This is mainly because small loans tend to have higher administrative costs. But don't let this deter you from the potential of microcredit. With the advancement of technology, we can streamline loan processing, which could significantly reduce these costs and consequently interest rates. Then there's the issue of over-indebtedness. Some borrowers fall into the trap of borrowing more than they can repay, leading to a vicious cycle of debt. To tackle this, financial literacy programs can be implemented. By educating borrowers about prudent borrowing and financial management, we can help them make informed decisions. Next up, we have the challenge of lack of regulation. In some regions, microcredit operates in a regulatory, gray area. This lack of oversight can lead to exploitation of borrowers and other unethical practices. But we can overcome this. By advocating for clear and fair regulations, we can ensure that microcredit institutions operate in a manner that safeguards the interests of the borrowers. Now, let's talk about the future of microcredit. Technology is paving the way for exciting developments. Imagine a world where microloans can be dispersed and repaid through mobile phones. A world where credit scoring algorithms help identify creditworthy borrowers in remote areas. These are not far-fetched fantasies but realities that are within our grasp. You see, despite the challenges, the potential of microcredit is immense. With the right strategies and technological advancements we can overcome these hurdles and bring about a world where financial inclusion is not just a buzzword but a reality. The world of microcredit is filled with possibilities. It's a world where the smallest credit can make the biggest difference, and that's a world worth living in. So, there you have it. The world of microcredit in a nutshell. We've journeyed from its inception to its global impact, touching on the Bangladesh experience and pondering the challenges and future prospects of this financial tool. We've seen how microcredit, often a lifeline for those underserved by traditional banking, can foster entrepreneurship and alleviate poverty. Remember, even the smallest credit can make a big difference. Until next time, keep exploring the world of finance. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.